Hi, it's Lizanne. Um, it's July, and I am uh, going to do a reading for this week. Um, so we are July 12th today, um, and I decided to come sit at the shop and uh, do another reading for everyone. Um, and I decided to use crystal cards today. So I'll show you that deck over here. Crystal reading cards, and they're from Rachel Charman. I know people like crystals, so I thought that why not um, see what crystals are calling to us this week. You can carry them in your pocket, in your medicine bag, um, in your purse, on your person, in your um, pockets. So here's my crystal grid that I made to help with this reading. So there is my crystal grid. I have two eagle feathers there. Um, the loon, my clan, bear clan, um, fairy stone, um, and some amethyst and some pink quartz. Um, all different stones here to help with the energies. Um, some for throat chakra and root and high heart and the third eye. Um, so yeah, this is my little grid. This is an oil that I um, got made, um, that we made for um, the awakening to help with energies, balancing your energies. Um, so it's a really good, good oil you can use. It's, we called it awake. I really like it. It's a citrusy smell. Um, and this is my um, information for my business here. Um, card readings I offer uh, personally also. Um, and they're $25. So you can call and make an appointment. So here are my uh, cards I'm going to use today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle um, that deck and I am going to ask my guides for a number. I'm going to use that number to select how many cards um, the reading is going to consist of. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be spreading them out like so. And I'm going to be passing my hand over just so that I could feel the energy in the palm of my hand. And then that way I'll know which card to pick. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Let's try to set this up here so you can see. I'm not an experienced camera woman yet, but working on it. So we will try this. Not too bad. Okay, so um, here we go. We're going to shuffle these cards. And I asked my guides for a number, and the number I got was eight. So we're going to pick eight cards out of this deck. I don't know this deck by heart, so I'll be looking at the book to get um, some information from it on top of using my intuition. Um, so here we go. Which crystals do we need this week to help us in our journey towards awakening? We're in interesting times, that's for sure. So here we go, spreading out the deck. First card. Oh, it's all warm over here. Second card. Third card. Sometimes you feel the energy in the center of your hand, but you're not sure which card, so you just kind of spread them out and pass over again until you feel that. 
fourth card. Two more to go. So you sh uh, right now I'm feeling like a tingling here, um, right here on my hand, which is closest to the thumb. Um, and sometimes I'll feel hotness uh, in the center of my palm. Or a warm sensation, not hotness. <laughs> there we go. There's our eight cards. So we'll put them this way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So, um, the first card. First card is hematite. Grounding. Hmm, that's interesting. Hematite, yes. Very good stone for grounding. I guess we need to um, be prepared for what's coming. All of the things that are going to be known to us. All of the truths that are going to be revealed. We're going to need something to hang on to. Um, so grounding is going to be important. So carry some hematite with you. Um, joy. Opal. Oh, that's such a pretty opal. So, yeah, joy. So uh, we need to try to stay focused. Positive energy. Um, keep our thoughts hopeful. Um, keep praying for the awakening of humanity. Um see do more things that make you happy look for the joys that you can have right now and this week it's really really important that you have joy in your life so however you get that if it's going into nature if it's doing some creativity some art um you know you just need to um to find uh, what brings you joy? So we need to fill our week with that. Clear quartz is purification. So all of these things that are going to come out this week, all of um, our feelings that need to be moved, they need to be purified. That's why they're coming to the light. And the clear quartz is a true channel of light. Um, we have a crystalline grid around our earth and it's made of clear quartz and through that we absorb the photons from the sun that bring us um, enlightenment and help us get our bodies more crystalline and um, just generally help the entire earth itself. So things need to come up for purification. As you can see the background is black and the clear quartz is white. So out of the dark we will bring light. And then there's a sunstone, which we were just talking about the sun and photons. And um, the sun is very important. Um, so think about the sun. Um, I don't know if anybody's um, familiar with sun eating, but that that's important. Um, sun dancing, those kinds of things, um, you know, will bring empowerment to us. The sun is super important for our awakening, um, for our bodies to be strong. Uh, we need the sun. So empowerment. And then the tiger's eye. Ooh, courage. Definitely we're going to need courage. There's a lot of controversy out there. Lots of things going on. We need to have courage by showing, you know, showing people by example who we are, speaking our truth, um, standing up for what you believe uh, in a compassionate way. 
So Tiger's Eye will help you have some courage to go through things you need to go through also in life. Sometimes they're difficult. Um, it will give you some strength and courage to go through those things. Well, I've never seen this stone, but it's very interesting. Crocoite. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that right, um, for sexuality. So this is your um, sacral chakra they're talking about. And in your sacral chakra is all about relationships. So um, look out for relationships this week. Um, build good, honest um, relationships. Relationships without um, codependency. Um, keeping your boundaries. Um, you know, being honest with yourself, being courageous, saying what your truth is. Um, you can see how these cards are linking together. So um, the sacral, having courage, um, empowerment, these are all, um, you know, very strong sacral um, cards. So that's pretty neat. The next one is past life, lapis lazuli. So uh, a lot of times things that occur in our past lives, those of you who believe that we have past lives, that we are, some of us are old souls, some of us are newer souls, um, but past life, um, even ancestral things can affect us. So uh, maybe um, you're going to see some past life, old belief systems, things that trigger you, things from your ancestors coming through to be healed this week. So if you do some meditations, uh, you might want to work on that. And Amazonite, life purpose. So this is great. Um, you know, through your past life um, knowledge that you've acquired, um, you kind of start to remember your life purpose. Like, why did you come to this um, 3D earth? What are you supposed to be doing? If you're not happy with what you're doing, you know, it's the perfect time to change it in all of this change uh, right now that the planet's going through. So this is a really good um, spread. Um, so there was grounding, hermitite, opal for joy, clear quartz for purification, sunstone for empowerment, tiger's eye for courage, crocoite, crocoite, for sexuality, which is the sacral chakra, um, lapis lazuli, using what you already have within you, and your life purpose, create and remember who you are and what you're doing here. This is a really wonderful reading. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I will um, take some pictures from the book to um, show you what the book says could be you can find some variations maybe in what I've said but I, I really didn't need to look at the book I can totally pick up um, intuitively the information I was receiving regarding this reading so I hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful week um, I'm here we're open um, this is my contact information so um, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I hope to see you all soon. Miigwech.